welcome 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 to our newest exciting video i am back listen on the last video i told y'all that i would not be making no more but i mean no more uh, candles dessert candles and when i tell you <laughs> you guys got in my inbox you guys got in my messages you was like keep the videos coming i was so encouraged by all of the wonderful messages that i got even on facebook my facebook family woo! my facebook family was just so encouraging like hey we love your energy please keep the desserts coming there's not enough videos on desserts we need you so guess what guys i decided to come on here today and do a banana pudding candle <laughs> I did a banana pudding candle probably about I say about maybe like three four months ago and it was in a jar um this is it it had the crust and everything and the bananas on top this was cool I enjoyed doing it but today I'm doing something completely different guys this is something that you have not seen on any YouTube channel if you've seen it on the YouTube channel then you might as well just put it on down there and let me see it in the comments because we can talk about it in the comments but we about to do something that everybody people ain't even doing this yet listen we are going to take this <laughs> we're going to take this um it's kind of like a pyrex but it's not we're going to wick it four times we're going to put four wicks inside of it and we're going to make a whole pan so listen when you come over on thanksgiving or you come over on christmas for dinner you come to the table and you see that banana pudding laid out and you're like oh my god this is about to be a good dinner and that's what it's going to be like when they see your candle they're going to be like oh my god this is about to be a good candle we have not seen this candle before oh my god you are so unique you are so different and guys this is going to be not one of your cheap sellers candles this is gonna be like one of your high-end selling candles because this is actually a lot of wax so guys what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wick this four times um and after i wick it we're gonna lay some wax in it we're gonna pipe it so we're gonna be here a little bit longer usually the video lasts about 10 12 minutes we're gonna stretch it just a little bit longer because i guys i wanted you to see this process as much as possible so let me go ahead and grab my glue gun and we're gonna get started all right so here we go we got our good glue gun i use the glue gun because it's actually better um i've tested it and i and when i tell you you can get this jar really hot and the wicks don't move i've tested it i've tried it and um it works so you're gonna need four wicks um remember when you double wicking or triple wicking try to come down some numbers like these right here is a lx14 so if you're using like an eco maybe you want to try like an eco4 or eco2 um but don't go up no further than that because you're using four different types of um wicks and so um it'll burn slower the flame will be a little bit more manageable if you're using cd wicks go down as low as possible in cd wicks because remember you're using four wicks even for this lx you know i can actually take this down once um but i'm doing this for the video i'm doing this for my house guys you get the point uh if you are planning on doing this candle make sure you use a lower number wick so I'm gonna go ahead on and wick this for you guys. Um, and I want you guys to use whatever you feel more comfortable with using. I do not recommend using glue dots. Hey! All right, so for your first, uh, <laughs> for your first wick, you wanna sit it right here. The second one, you wanna sit it right here. Um, you don't want to put them too close together because you want each side to burn evenly and also you don't want the um, flame to be really high. When you place the wicks close together, it makes the flame um, typically higher. So you want to make sure that you place them, um, give them a little space. So I'm going to do my second one. And you want to wet this thing on up. <laughs> All right, use an, enough of it. You gonna get your little strings, but okay, it's all right. Um, you gonna get your little strings and you can deal with it. So I'm gonna place this one right here. Okay, so we got it like that. And make sure you get it in the glue make sure it's in the glue and remember it must be an oven safe one 
because you don't want to use any old glass one because you don't want it to break when it gets really, really hot because you're using four wicks. So you want it to be able to um, stand some heat. See? And then I'm going to take this and I'm getting ready to go and I'm getting ready to go and get me some wax. Put some wax in here. I'm going to lay um, some yellow wax first. I'm probably going to stop it to about right here. So I'm going to lay a yellow, uh, a layer of yellow wax. You can't do the gram first because it just won't look right. Um, so you just got to do the yellow and then you got to do the gram. So guys, while I'm doing that, I want you to go ahead and get your wax prepared and uh, we'll be right back. I will be using today IGI 6006 and for the top and I will be using 464. Um, I can use all IGI 6006, but I actually like to use the 464 because it has more of a fluffy top. Okay guys, I wanted to come back and show you guys really quick the things that I will be using for this video because normally I don't do that. Normally I just like, look, I poured the wax, I did this, I did that. I'm not gonna do you like that today. So um, this is my banana mold that I got off Esty. Um, this is uh, some color blocks that I had got from Hobby Lobby. I usually get the yellow ones and I get the brown ones. Whenever you see those vibrant, beautiful colors, it's because I use these. Um, for about a pound, I use a whole square. So let's say I wanna do um, a 16 ounce candle. I just break off one of these and use just one of them. Um, and also to test my colors, before I just pour it, I always take a paper towel and, um, you know, just test it, pour it on the paper towel, like, oh, that's not brown enough. And then I'll add more and I'll keep adding more until I get my, um, you know, desired color. And for my cookies, I know it's hard to find cookie molds, but this is something that I found on Amazon. Um, it is a cookie mold, but it's not for wafers. So what I usually typically do is, um, to make my cookies, I fill this up a little, just a little tiny bit. I don't fill it all the way up because I want it to look like wafers. So basically I just, um, fill it up a little bit and then, um, that's how I make my wafers. So I use these and, um, you're going to need a piping bag and a piping tip. You're going to need a whisk. You're gonna need a bowl. My whisk I used on my wax the other day, so you know it looks like this, but y'all can bear with it. Um, you're gonna you're gonna need a bowl so you can uh, make your whip. Um, and I'm about to go and get my wax and use my fragrance and pour everything. Hey guys, I have some yellow. Um, I've cut it. I colored it yellow. It's still a little bit warm. Um, this is wax. I colored it yellow already. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna. Pour it inside of here, pour it slowly. I want you to pour it slowly. That way it won't splash too much. Okay, so I had to come up with a way um, where we can lay out these uh, popsicle sticks with holes on it, where though we can get the wicks to stay centered. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this and you want to um, take my gloves off for a second. You wanna take this and you wanna tape these together. So you wanna take this and you wanna kinda tape these two together. Don't tape the hole <laughs> like I was about to do. Just basically just tape from end to end up until where you get to the hole, but just tape it together. And you just put one in here trying to see how this one's gonna work out. You put the other one in here. And that is perfect. And both of the wicks are straight and they're standing up together. We go ahead and get two more. So you taping these two um, together and putting it both through the holes. This is a good way to, and guys, I just came up with this, please. <laughs> I just came up with this. So you just pretty much just um, tape it together to hold it together. Let it solidify. Uh, probably leave it for about 10 minutes. And don't worry about the residue on the side because I'm going to show you a cool way to get rid of that residue. Um, just get yourself a lighter and we just going to take a lighter and kind of go on the sides and, and the um, wax will go straight down to the bottom. I really don't like mess <laughs> on the outside of my jars. And I feel like when you go and clean the wax up, most of the time it leave it looking really cloudy. So um, 
yeah so i'm gonna let this solidify i probably just pour a little bit more wax in here just to be able to have like a fuller look um i want i want the the i want the wax the yellow to come at least to like right here so i'm gonna pour a little bit more in there guys and i'll be right back all right guys so i look like ray j right now because i just popped up with some glasses and the glove on and last place y'all see me i ain't have none of this but let me have my one wish all right so look what i did was i prepared the the bananas and i prepared the wafers as well so i got the bananas and the wafers prepared um i got this this is fully solidified so it's actually looking like banana pudding it's, it's yellow and also um we got some soy right here that's um solidifying as well so we're gonna let this soy get a little bit solid before I pipe but what I want to do right here is I want to take the wafers and I want to line it up just like listen I'm treating this just like it's food you know like how you line it up on Thanksgiving or any type of you know event that you um, making banana pudding you line the wafers up in the pans okay so we're gonna line up the pan um, with our wafers we want to make it look like Basically, we want it to look real. So you want to get it pressed up into the window as much as possible. Um, I call this the window, the place where it's uh, going to be seen. So you want to make sure you press it up so you can see it outside of the glass. When somebody look at the candle, they should be able to see this. Um, so I'm going to use my smaller ones, my bigger ones on the bottom, um, smaller ones on top. Because this uh, mold that I told you all to use is kind of like weird. So um yeah that's what i want to do so i'm basically lining this up showing all my cookies at the window and some of them is going to basically come around the wick and i want to show you guys a, a cool trick to um keep the cookies coming around the wick okay so when my, remember when I told you that you're going to need to clean up a little bit? This is what I mean. Take a lighter and just pretty much um, clean up the sides with it. And the wax is going to fall down and it's, it's just going to clean it up. So just take a lighter on the sides. You might have to go and wipe it up a little bit, but it's, um, it's clean that way. much cleaner because you want people to see it as a real dessert and you want it to be perfect like you went to culinary art school so when I was saying basically going around the, the uh, wicks this is what I meant taking and, and basically kind of moving this like that you're going to have to do that you're going to have to cut it because it's going to come in the way. And then some of them you're going to have to slice. You're going to basically have to work with it to um, fit in this thing where it's seen. Because there should be no spots around the sides that's not seen. So you got to work with it. Got to work with it. Everything needs to show up on the front end. So um, keep putting these cookies in here. It looks so real, guys. It looks so real. It looks so real. And I'm just cutting and so it could just go around the wick with no problem. But I just want I want cookies to be in there. Like I want them to be in there. Okay, that's one of the outside. Okay, so basically when I finish, I'm gonna definitely need to clean up the outside of the vessel. That's the thing. When you make a mess, you gotta clean it up. <laughs> gotta definitely clean it up. And I'm doing this so you can be able to still see it against the window. I call it the window, guys, but you know what I'm saying. You see? And I want you guys to see, to see what I just did. I, I opened up the cookie. And you see it's cracked, but it's like around the wick. So now that you covered up your wicks, kind of, sort of, you can go ahead and just line, line up your cookies to the best of your ability. All right. Okay. 
So you should really just be using four, eight, four, eight, 12, about 12 to 16 cookies on this. If you have the same size thing I have, about 12 to 16 cookies should be sufficient enough. And some of these cookies, you're not gonna be able to really fit. So you just cut it and push it up against the window, still pushing it up against it so it can be seen. Cause you want all of it to be seen. Might not even be able to get all of it there. Cause I'm not, it's, it's not working out for me. So just cut it in half. Cause it's, the middle is not important. What's important is, is what's being seen. The middle will be covered up when we go ahead and whip it. So we're not too much worried about the middle. So I'm still placing it around. Um, it looks it looks it looks like a hot mess, y'all. I know it looks like a hot mess, but bear with me. It's going to look like a masterpiece. You know, if I put my hands in it, it's going to be good. It looks crazy right now, but it's going to look good. So this the last cookie, and this one's kind of cornered off. So we're going to have to put that right there. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is a good time to clean up your vessel because as, as you see, when we was laying the cookies, we made it a little messy. And this mess do not go away. Okay, so basically when you're weighing out um, fragrance, make sure that you do 10% based on whatever wax you're using. I'll be using IGI 6006 and 464, so I'm using 10%. So I'm using a little bit of vanilla, and since I use 20 ounces of wax, I'm gonna go ahead and do two ounces of fragrance. So I'm gonna do one ounce vanilla, and I'm gonna do one ounce banana. Um, I will leave the link to the fragrance in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together. What I like about this kind of situation is the lower, the lower you allow, and you gotta mix this for two minutes. Don't just pour it in there and keep it moving. No, you want it to bind. The lower you pour, for me, the stronger my desserts are. I like my stuff to really smell like pudding. I like my wax to really you know, it has to really smell like a food for me. Like, it, it has to really smell like that. So I'm just stirring this up a little bit. And um, I'm working it till it gets about two minutes. And then it's going to solidify. And um, after it solidifies, we go ahead and we um, begin to put it inside the piping bags. And we go from there. And that's when we really work our, our masterpiece. The mess that we made on the vessel do not go away. Even when you lay your stuff and put your whipped in there, you still gonna have like this fog going around on like the sides of the vessel. So now is a good time to go ahead and take a, a nice little rag. What I typically like to use is just a little tiny bit of Windex to kind of clean up the glass and, and make it shine a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my vessel real quick. So we are nice and solidified. As you can see, it looks really good. It's like batter. Um, I would say more like mashed potatoes or whatever. So what we're about to do is we're about to take this and we're about to put this into a piping bag. And I'm going to go ahead and pipe this out into here. Um, you guys, of course, can watch the whole entire process. But what I wanted to tell you was, I don't think you're ready for this pudding. I don't think you're ready for this pudding. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, start putting this in here. Um, I whisk it a lot. If you... I don't feel the need to whisk it more, go ahead. But I got all the lumps out of mine. That's the purpose of whisking it, so you can get all the lumps out of it. Um, you wanna take it and start putting it inside your um, your piping bag right now because um, this is the time when it starts getting a little bit more harder. And you don't want it to get too hard. I have a large piping bag, um, so mine is able to handle all of this. <laughs> And if I need more, I'll come back and get it. But for now, this is all I'm going to put inside my bag. I'm going to lift the camera up just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just put a little bit more in there. I have, I can use all of it. That'll be good. 
I don't like the waste, so I'm just gonna put all of it in there. Uh, that's it. I'm cleaning this little bowl up, honey. Cause one thing about me, I do not. I'm zero waste. I'm one of them kind of people. Okay. Then you go ahead and you start shaking it. As you shake it, it'll start coming down to the bottom. Okay, it should be at the bottom. Now you go ahead and you take your piping bag, you kind of twist it, give it a little twist at the top. And then you start pushing on it to make sure it'll come out. And it's pretty good right here. So I'm pull this back. So what you want to do is you want to start going in here and just kind of putting, um, put your little dots in here. However you choose to do it, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to start out with doing it like this. I'll probably change my flow a little bit as I go along. But I'm going to do it like this. Now, I'm putting it in here like this, but I got another little trick. I'm going to line the wall up with cookies. Yep, you heard me right. I'm going to line the wall up with cookies. This is where you really show off your piping skills, the things that you have learned and the things that you have practiced, this is exactly where you use it at, right here. This is when you show off all that you learned in piping class. And we have a lot, I have a lot of wax in here, so I, I can pretty much just have a good time. I mean, it's, the more the better. It looks really nice as I'm, you know, filling it in. So the more the better because it's, it's banana pudding, so you wanna have a nice little thick layer. You see, you got your layer of cookies, and then you got your thick layer of vanilla on the top. That's what that's supposed to be. But my fragrance, like I told you guys, is vanilla and banana. Cause I wanted people to really smell that banana pudding in it. So you see how I got it to here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line the walls with cookies. We're going to line the walls with cookies because we really want this to look like banana pudding. People are going to be like, oh my God, this is so, it's so nice. They're going to be so happy when they see the things that you have done and the things that you have got accomplished this week. I mean, really, we went from strawberry, uh, dessert candle. Now we're doing a pan of banana pudding. Now I'm lining this up. But I'm gonna also not line it up all the way because I still want you guys to be able to get in on the action and to see what's going on in here. And if I line it up too much, you can't see inside of it. So I'm just gonna line it up to about right here. And then I'm gonna say the best for last. So it looks really good. It, it looks so much like banana pudding that I'm like, oh wow, I'm ready to eat. I'm like really getting hungry. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave that right there and I'm gonna like turn this around so you guys can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep piping. Um, and remember when you stop, you gotta press a little bit harder because sometimes it starts solidifying and it makes it a little bit more difficult to come out. So, but all is well, you know, you still got enough time to handle your business. So push this up a little bit more so you can see. And I'm gonna start adding some bananas as soon as I feel like I got enough wax in here. And, and remember guys, and when you're doing something like this, it's never too much. You never can look at it and be like, well, that's just too much. Let me, no, you can put as much wax as you feel, as much, as much pudding as you feel it needs. Cause this is your candle and nobody can tell you how to do it. <laughs> Oh, girl, you doing the most. I sure am. What are you doing? Guys, listen, as I'm filling this up, I'm going to tell you a little story. I had a friend who told me that my candles was ugly. And um, I remember just getting discouraged about doing these dessert candles to the point when I, I just stopped selling them. And now um, I'm looking up. I'm getting so many subscribers. It's like I see my YouTube going viral because, you know, I'm, I'm basically using this, using this gift to give back. But never, the lesson is never let somebody that ain't got nothing going on with their life discourage you about what you're doing. Never let them discourage you. So I'm going to go ahead and put some bananas in there because I really want to bring this thing to life. 
I want to really bring it to life. So I'm going to add some bananas. And I'm going to kind of lay these bananas down a little bit. I'm not going to um, press them in like on because I want to still show my creative abilities. So I'm going to press them in a little bit, but I'm not going to lay them flat out. Some people would have laid them flat out. If you choose to do that, that I mean, it would still be nice. But I wanted to show my creative abilities, and I am by doing it this way. Okay, and I'm gonna just probably put like one more banana in there, over here. And that's good, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, I, only, I didn't wanna do too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my walls with the cookies. I'm gonna put all the cookies in there. So now the only thing you're gonna see is the top of it and the sides. And, um, That should be good because that's what we're really focusing on right now. So, guys, I filled this up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more wax because, remember, it's going to get a little bit hard. It's going to be a little harder when you leave it sitting for a while. So, you might have to go ahead and press it out and let it press out. There it is. And just fix your wicks. Make sure your wicks are centered. Make sure they're in a good place. Build up around your wicks, like I always tell you guys, build up around your wicks. Okay. Okay, so that should be, that's good. That is our banana pudding. It looks really good. It looks so real. Um, I'm going to lift it up for you guys to see. This is our banana pudding, and we've done this in a Pyrex, a tiny pan. Um, we got the whip going on. I mean, if you want to, you can continue to add your whip. And, you know, um, I bust my piping bag, so I won't be doing too much. <laughs> if you want to continue to add your whip, you can. But I think mine is pretty good, and I I'm, I'm done with it. You see, I got some wax in my hair. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Listen, all week long, I'm coming with more and more candles. I will be doing some straight pour candles this week. Um, I will be letting you know what, what wax I use, what wick I use, um, what fragrance I use. Um, I'm going to get into some pouring temperatures. You know, I've wasted thousands of dollars of making mistakes with candles. So I believe that I'll be able to help you guys as much as possible, especially our new coming um, candle makers. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, guys. And listen, this is our banana pudding. Did we not do the darn thing today? We did the darn thing. Okay, guys, see you soon.